Hello everyone, so welcome back. This is Flammy, and we are back for another episode of my Let's Play series. And we do have Flammy Mini here once again. Hello! So, this is our second uh, dual commentary, and we've got some exciting stuff going on in this episode. So, very exciting. We finished up since the last episode. We now have healers, so you can see this guy uh, floating around right here of his army camp. Well, well, I'm not screwing up the army camp. But there's the healer. A uh, little flying unit. A little... Sort of looks like a shield almost around it, doesn't yeah. it? Looks and, like a little angel. Yeah, it does. With little <laughs> wings and everything. Uh, we got another one building in here. That's just so uh, we don't have to wait a full 20 minutes for it to uh, complete after we attack the first time. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we need to be planning out some future attacks. Or future constructions. There we go. Um, and we got a couple options. So our cannons are fully leveled up. We can't upgrade these without doing our town hall. Same with the uh, mortars. But what we can upgrade are these archer towers and these wizard towers and this air defense right here. Uh, we could also do clan castle, but that takes a whole ton of gold. Then uh, there's a couple research things we could do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think we should do first, Slammy Mini? Um, I go for defense over attacking. And where's the town hall fit in that priority list? The town, like this guy? Yeah, the main town hall, this one right here in the center. Um, why do defense first? Okay. And then upgrade your attacking as much as is feasible to then go raid a bunch of gold from people. And when you're done doing that, upgrade the town hall. So I like that plan. I'll tell you why. So a lot of people like to uh, increase their town hall first because, I mean, you will look at it. It's like a town hall. It's like the most critical thing, right? And look at, hey, it unlocks new stuff. Hey, we need to get another army camp and a new barracks and new walls and defense and stuff, right? Great. Beautiful. No. Well, no. <laughs> exactly. The problem is, if you do this first, you're, everything else is going to start falling behind. And then you have the temptation to do the next town hall to the next level again. And then you're even farther behind. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely a fan of leaving the town hall for last, maxing out defenses. Not necessarily 100% of your defenses and offenses maxed, but like at least 80% there. And I see lots of people like, oh, well, I upgraded like everything like once, or most of the things. Good enough, right? Uh, not really. I mean, because you don't want your base to come in and get, like, creamed by somebody. Yeah, basically, that's basically all of that. You <laughs> that's don't, you embarrassing. Don't want... Exactly. What's the point of being a level 9 and having no defenses and terrible walls and stuff? Yeah, you just get laughed at in town. Anyways, let's stop talking and looking at our base here. Let's go on the attack and, uh, like I said, use this new healer. Uh, do you have a shield? I don't know how much time we had left on it. I don't really care because we're dropping it anyways. Uh, always good, though, to try to drop it when uh, there's not much time left on it to take full advantage of your defeat. <laughs> this is uh, this base we could raid pretty easily for one star if we wanted one star. They've only got 2,000 gold, though. So, notice, yeah, notice this. We're not going to tag this guy because not, not enough gold. But notice this town hall. He's working on level 8 town hall, and his mortars are lower level than mine. And I'm level 6 right now. Yeah, so this is someone who's a little rushing a little fast. My cannons are also higher level. My archer towers are also higher level. And one of my wizards is tied, and the other wizard is below. His is below. So yeah, this is a, a good example of someone who's rushing through. You can tell he's only level 34 because he hasn't upgraded tons of stuff. So I just want to make you my point right there. Um, Does your not what? I mean, if you call it by level by your town hall, what do you call the blue number? Uh, so that's like my in-game level. I mean, if I would say this, I'm level whatever, I'd say I'm talking about the blue number on the top left. In this case, 39. So why would he be level 34? Is that because of his upgrades to his base. Yes. Because your in-game level, mine is 39, is based on constructions, because that gives experience. Uh, uh, it does? Yes, it how does. How much does it give? It depends on how long the construction is where and how much it, it costs. Where does it show that? When a construction finishes, a blue number appears over. Just like uh, when you collect elixir, so I'll zoom in here. When I click on this elixir bubble, you'll see a purple number, 224. So that's the amount of elixir I just got. In the same way, there'll be a blue bubble, blue number, that will be how many experience you just got. Oh, how much is it? Like, if you were to upgrade your cannon, like, that guy. A couple hundred. No, that's not the cannon. This cannon? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, you can't actually tell until you actually do it. I think the wiki has some information on that, if you really care. Um, just wondering. So it's like a couple hundred. It's, it's a couple not hundred. It's not like five when you donate troops, troops to, like, a clan person. Yeah. So donating troops to a clan person gets five. Removing natural decorations gets, like... 3 to 5, 3 to 8, depending on which type it is. Uh, and winning, uh, killing a t uh, town hall, actually, an enemy town hall in an attack, actually gets you experience. Really? 
and the amount you get depends on how high level they are. I think it's like level one town hall gives you one experience, level two gives you two. Because uh, like I know you can get eight or nine hmm. for killing them. Uh, yes, all different we ways were, to get experience. Okay, we were attacking. We, got we attacking. were attacking. Once again, we're getting sidetracked. So here we are, five minutes in, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> nothing accomplished. Well, here's some nice gold. Ooh. Get it, get it, get it. You know, I'm really liking this. So <laughs> when we've got our healer, uh, the main thing we need to be concerned about is the air defense. Because the healer's a flying unit, so we just got to take out the air defense, and then we're pretty golden. Uh, this guy has a level one air defense, and it's not the most exposed. Is You're... the air defense... Um... Couldn't archers also attack your healer? Uh, yes, but because I'll you'll well watch how I do it. It's not that's not really an issue. So we're gonna be attacking into this top corner here, this top archer tower, attacking from the top side. So I'm gonna deploy uh, any wiz mortars? Nope, no mortars in range. So I'm just deploy one giant for distraction, two wall breakers, one two. Uh, rest of the giants that might have been three wall breakers. I don't really know. All the giants are going to come in and uh, start killing the archer tower, and then they'll go to the air defense next, because it's closest. As soon as the air defense is about to go down, I'm going to deploy the healer on the left side here. Why would so, you wait for that archer right tower now. to go out right now? Because, see, that archer tower is distracted on our giants. So oh. the healer the healer is attacking one of our giants. Or the, the archer tower, what, yeah, exactly. The archer tower is attacking one of our giants who's Got getting it. healed. So while it could die, and it could switch to the archer or the healer, it's most likely will switch to a different giant, because it generally switches to the closest one. So you're just going to watch our clients, uh, giants, uh, chase around, kicking ass. Hopefully these archers that I'm deploying will attack these clan castle guys, which I sort of neglected. Um, will those do significant damage to your giants? They'll do okay. If they're all focusing on one, it would probably be bad. Um, but since you have the healer there, that's okay. Yes. And what level do you have to have your, is it your spell factory? up to to make a healer it's not spell factory it's a barracks a barracks needs to be level eight uh yeah. so as you can see there's only one defense uh left alive uh the archer tower in this its own compartment over here uh so i'm just gonna spread out some other guys um why i don't really need to do this but the point is i'm gonna be waiting for a healer anyway so i might as well do it and i've got a ton of elixir so okay how do you get your to <laughs> drag and drop guys at the same time because whenever i try like to do that it drags the screen uh, deploy guys in a, like in a row and dragging yeah. it. Uh, so you can just cl select the unit, mm -hmm. uh, drop it, and then move. See, but mine always moves the screen like that. So I can't. Of dropping I, guys. I can't really give you an example because I don't have any more guys to deploy. But as, as long as it starts deploying guys before you move, I think that's the key. So uh, wait until it starts deploying guys, maybe. Got it. You guys might notice I did obviously switch up my army composition from my more typical archer and barbarian raiding force. Uh, because, uh, well, simply, you need giants for... Th well, you don't need giants with the healer, but the healer works so well with giants. As you saw, the giants stay nice and grouped up together, the healer follows a group, and I'm not sure if you actually noticed, but the healer actually does splash damage against everything. So, uh, it does splash heals against a grouped-up giant. So it's only targeting one, but it's actually healing everyone. Anyways, here we are with 171. Uh, I made that look really easy, because actually it was really easy with the healer. Um, I'm not sure how many of the giants were alive at the end. I wasn't really counting, but I don't think more than about three giants died the entire time. Uh, yeah. I love you, healer. <laughs> so, yes, we'll be using this extensively going forward. Uh, let's see. What do we have to do now? Well, let's see. We've got a healer training. It's going to be another ten minutes before it finishes up. Got to do... Got to train up some giants replacements as well. I think we got some recent attacks to go review on this base, so I'm going to queue up guys, and we'll cut back in a second to review those attacks. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we got three attacks, uh, nope, four attacks to do here. Um, very exciting stuff. Let's see how they all went. So first off is this level 51 at the bottom, uh, Dupost. Uh, we won. Always good sign off, right off the bat. Second thing you'll probably notice is he got a whole ton of balloons, 34 balloons. Uh, looks like level three balloons, yeah. And then 10 goblins and a lightning spell. So, what is your predictions for how this is going to attack this base, Flammy Mini? Here's our base. Um. We have a level three air defense, by the way. But I mean, that's thirty-four balloons. Like thirty-four balloons. They're not gonna have a problem killing just one air defense. Maybe try and drop the spell first on the air defense to like weaken it, and then deploy like all of the balloons like right. Um, you can tap and it'll appear. A white dog will appear. There you yeah, go. Yeah, like right there. Not right there, but like right, kind of like right near it. So the first thing they go to is that air defense to drop on it, 
Because then after that, only the archers can affect it, right? Or can the wizards do balloons? The wizards can do splash, which is actually quite effective. So I'm curious if he's going to know that and going to bunch up his balloons. Either way, what strikes me as most noticeable is he's got one balloons and two goblins and three lightning spell. None of those actually will deal with clan castle reinforcements. So if I have any archers whatsoever, he is going to be in a heap of trouble. So let's go find out if I actually had archers that he's going to deal with. And how we dealt with the wizard towers, which wizard towers are a major concern when you're doing mass balloon because you don't want to take splash damage to your balloons. I've not actually watched this attack, but okay. Ooh. Yep, so. Balloons! Okay, so we are two shotting his balloons. Uh, there's the wizard tower doing splash. So, oh, there is the lightning. So he. So he loads up. Oh my up. gosh, and you have a bunch of archers in your clan castle. Yep, I've got a bunch of archers. So, is that what. Kills him, you think? Eventually? Probably because this whole first group is gonna die because it was getting splash damage. The wiz the first wizard is about to go down, but the second wizard is still working. Uh, notice these balloons on the bottom are flying right over the clan castle guys. They completely ignore them uh, until all the defenses are down, and possibly even then. Uh, the ones on the top are very very weak from the wizard. You saw how much splash damage they did. So let's just see if the clan castle guys can finish this guy off. Uh, he activated some more clan castle guys, but it looks like goblins, so they, or, yeah, go goblins and barbarians, so they actually can't do anything. Oh, well, balloons are down. Were you impressed by 34 balloons? He killed all of our defenses, <laughs> but... Didn't get anything else. <laughs> exactly. Now he's got 10 goblins to go against, like, 15 clan castle guys. Oh, and by the way, the goblins don't attack the clan castle guys either. They just go for resources, They right? just go for resources, and once all the resources are dead, then they'll go. So, I mean... Maybe this would be an okay plan if uh, <laughs> I didn't have any clan castle guys, but I don't think he was really thinking about that part. Do you? No. Yeah. Problem. Whoops. So yeah, that was a win for us, and a very expensive loss. Uh, 34 balloons, they cost, they take 10 minutes to train each. So yeah, that's a lot of time. Even, as, even if you're level 51, who probably has four barracks. So yeah, that was his first attack. He got a total of 12,000 gold and 11,000 elixir. Uh, some of that would be from the goblins, and some of it might be from the balloons doing splash damage. I would guess most of the goblins, so. Okay, let's move on to the next attack. So, we've got, uh, this level 39 here. Currently same level as us. Very heavy goblin attack. Or, uh, giant attack. Uh, 8 wall breakers, 38 archers, and 9, uh, barbarians. The barbarians, interesting, are not upgraded at all, so I'm assuming they came out of the clan castle. Which is what that shield means. That means yeah. they deployed their clan castle troops. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious if this guy grouped up his giants. I'm curious if our spring traps were effective. Uh, I didn't actually see how we did. I think we won it, but... We did. We did? Good. Yeah. It's a short attack, only a minute and five seconds long. Okay, so he deployed all of his giants in one spot, but they spread out. Although he deployed wall breakers, so that should help. Yep, that's good. Uh, unfortunately for him, he's got clan castle guys on his ass for the group arch for the giants on top. More wall breakers coming in on the bottom. The wall breakers on the bottom are hitting the buttress wall. That's a good spring he... trap. You see those oh, flying yeah, giants? Yeah, that's the spring trap. That, yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> flying giants. Um, sort of like Skyrim. If any of you guys are a fan of Skyrim, uh, giants make you fly in Skyrim. Well, spring traps make giants fly in this game. Oh, there was one spring trap. Only got one this time. Uh, I'll zoom in a bit more. He's got little guys running around, but uh, the clan castle guys, as you can see, are just doing tons and tons and tons of free damage. So far, he's only killed an archer tower up there and a wizard tower and now an air defense down here. As you can see, my cannon on the bottom here was upgrading. Uh, he spread out guys all over the place. The mortar splashed up the guys on bottom, it looks like, just from all the skulls. But all the guys on top right and bottom right, uh, there weren't enough of them for to make a difference. It looks like they just got picked off by the defense because the defense is... They didn't have enough guys to overwhelm them. How do you defend best against the clan castle people when you're attacking others? That's actually a really great question. Because obviously your people have come in and just like annihilated. Yeah, so both of these defenses, uh, the clan castle has been very, very critical. Not to say critical to defending, uh, but very, very effective. Uh, so in my base, it's actually very easy to see how to, if it, how to deal with the clan castle guys. First thing I would do if I was attacking my own base is drop a single archer right here. So the, what that would do is that archer would come and attack this army camp. And that's close enough to the clan castle to activate all the guys and draw them out. But at the same time, that archer will be out of range of this wizard tower. If I pull up like the range of this guy, clearly not within range. Pull up the range of this guy, clearly not within range. So that archer would draw out six to seven guys. 
And then once they were... That bubble is the range? Yeah. Oh. That circles the range of the defenses. Oh. And in, for the case of the mortar, the red ring in the middle is the minimum that's range. The, oh, so that's what they can't it attack can't, They can't shoot within that. Point blank. Every, everyone probably watched my video just like slap their head against the desk and was like, oh my god. Clammy <laughs> Mini doesn't know that. But you know what? Maybe, maybe there were a few of you who didn't know that, and I'm very glad to share that knowledge with you. I never would have thought to share that knowledge. With you. So <laughs> it's not intuitive. It's just a big bubble. I find it intuitive. Have you ever played a tower defense game? No. Really? Come on. Okay. Moving on. Uh, by the way, this is totally going to be a, a second episode from the first one. We're running past 20 minutes, and we've got more to do. <laughs> I can just tell you right now. Uh, but this is fun. I'm having a good time here. So, two attacks down, and two attacks to go. 